did you steal oh, these no, photos shit. that are exploiting us? Oh my goodness! Oh, God. Yeah, I am a doctor! She's not who she says she is! What I the hell? hell? I knew it! Oh, I knew it. Oh, oh, oh. Who here is ready to have a great time? <laughs> Well, that ain't gonna happen. Oh. Oh. My name is Detective Peter Ness. I am a private dick hired by Mr. Dick? Warren Peace. Now, he has paid me a large sum of money to help all y'all solve a murder tonight, his own murder. <gasps> That's right, Mr. Warren Peace believes that someone here is planning to kill him tonight. Now, despite what Mr. Warren paid me, I am not gonna stand by and let a murder take place and that I'm just not gonna do it. You will, detective. You will read the letter, letter for letter, as instructed. Dear Fines, Finks, and Rapscalines, you've not been invited to my party, but rather my funeral. No, I no, 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 this... detective, no! You lack the proper vim and vigor that something of this importance requires. Give me that. You're fired. Oh. Go. Shush. Just you on your own. Hopefully nobody dies tonight. <laughs> Bye. Dear fiends, finks, and rapscallions, you have not been invited to my party, but rather my funeral. Tonight I will die, and one team will receive all of my personal fortune. I went to the doctor not too long ago, and he said I was suffering from a rare disease. He said it was going to be a nasty, drawn-out end, and rather than wait silently for that to happen, I thought, why not go out with a little bit of style? So I've thrown this little party, this little death day party. Hey. And you're all now a party. Yes, you've got the spirit. Yes, yay! Yeah. Now, this isn't a free-for-all, all right? We've put you on teams. One team, and one team only, is going to win the honor of a small drum roll, please. <laughs> Detectives of the Night, yes! Oh. Yes. Now, we've made this a little easy for you all. You see, we've actually labeled some of my worst enemies. So if you have a name tag, I would like to pull you up to the front of the table over here. First up, you. Oh, you want to speak to me, Mary? Yes, I do. Oh, hello, everyone. Um, hello, my name is Mary Ulala. Your name, sir? Hello, my name is Jarvis Did It. Woo! That's right, Jarvis Did It. And Jarvis, what service do you perform for me at my estate? I'm Sir Warren Peace's butler. Yes, that's right. And you've been in my service for quite some time, is that true? Decades, it feels like, sir. Absolutely. Now, I've been running you quite ragged through those decades, haven't you? Positively run through to the bone. <laughs> Run through indeed, and you've never had a vacation in all those years. Hmm. Not once, not even when my mother died. Yes, that's right. Now, um, we're in good company I here. Miss her. You miss her. I do too. Jarvis. I'm sorry. Jarvis. Now, I know I made you miss out on your mother's funeral. Did that uh, irk you? Yes, it just happened this week, in fact. <laughs> it did. It's quite fresh. Now, did that make you mad enough to kill me? Possibly. And for those that may live under a rock, what is your name? I am Mr. Greenspan. You're doing Mr. the voice again. Are you gonna do this again? He, is a, um, he is a, what you would say, a financier of films here in Hollywood, no? Yes. So you see potential and you, uh, hey, bro, you see potential and you then throw money at it? With these blokes? <laughs> no, no, we actually Ooh. did. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why did you do that? That's half of our damn money. What, what bill was that? No, come forward, please. Come forward. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes. No, I'm not. I'm not a nerd. I'm just very smart. Oh, you're just very smart. You don't understand. Oh, you're right. I don't understand. Someone just hit me. Yeah, I did. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we'll take care of him later. We haven't even gotten your name yet. What's your name? Professor Purple. Professor Purple. <laughs> now, Professor, you had quite the involvement with the loneliest butterfly, didn't you? I denied it. Yeah. I didn't want it to go through. It was trash. I knew it would fail. I was trying to help them. Right. Dog <laughs> movie. <laughs> you seem to have very strong feelings about the movie. Yes. Now, how do you feel about the book? 
It's also trash. It's also, you wrote you, you it. You didn't write it? <laughs> <laughs> what book were you talking about? The right Loneliest here? Butterfly oh, that the movie is based on. Yeah. I thought you were talking about yeah. a different book. Yeah, right, no, no. Oh, your okay, book. Okay, your book. Okay. They, no. you, you heard the Loneliest Butters Fly. I didn't the other. finish my yes. character. No, no, no. But you wrote the book that we based the movie on, correct? Yes. Um, um, my name, uh, it's, um, Mary Kate, uh, Mary Kate Ashley, yeah. Mary yeah. Kate yeah. Ashley! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so sweet! Yeah. Okay. Now, unlike the little mouse of a person we just met, the next person I'm about to introduce has the heart of a lioness, and you have to, for she is the first female doctor of our time. Yes, everybody, a round of applause. Please come up here, please come up here. Thank you. Introduce thank yourself you, thank to the you. crowd. Uh, yes, it's uh, Dr. Sarah Dippity, doctor, PhD. That's right. And, uh, the very first woman to right. accomplish this feat. John Hopkins, by the way. Yes, yes, John very, Hopkins. very esteemed. for Miss Zana Bassing! Down boy, down boy. <laughs> Put the dogs back in the kennel. <laughs> this, is this is what you call a Tuesday, no? Yes, yes, Wednesday as well. We have two absences here today. Uh, uh, Miss Prissy Peacock, although I said on the invitation to be prompt, is tardy. She has not arrived yet, but she should be on her way. Oh, Secondly, so cool. Lee Dingroll did say that he could not make it tonight. He said he was helping out with orphanages in Africa. That guy. Uh, I yeah. hate him. So sweet, oh, yes. No, I hate him. Now, quite the opposite. We do have another actress here, but she's not quite a bad thing. No, as a matter of fact, she is just the sweetest thing on this oh. side of the Mississippi. Oh. Come on down here, my sweet. Come on down here and uh, say your name to the audience. My name's Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb, yes, you're so sweet. Yeah, now, Cherry! Cherry! She can't cook for <laughs> She can't. Uh, I know, I've written nothing. It's my bad, okay? <laughs> I didn't know. There's been a lot of competition for the roles and whatnot, right? And we had to yes. move you around and whatnot. I'm very sorry that had to happen. Yes. Were you a little distraught when I had to make that happen? Um, slightly. Slightly. You know, some. Some people have to use their looks and their charm. Mm. Some people have real talent. Oh. Excellent. Doctor, oh. do you deal in toxins ever? Maybe, um. a, maybe a nice little bribe would help. Of course, what kind? What's the most nefarious thing you could prescribe? Maybe something that would stop someone's heart. Now the last person I'm going to introduce definitely commands room. Oh, yes. How's the weather up there? It's very, uh, huge. <laughs> oh, interesting. Now, um, you know, for those people that may not know who you are, like Joe down there, poor Joe. What's your name? Jigo. Huge. Huge Jigo. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, you have met all of your suspects here this evening, and I guarantee you one of them will be murdering here me this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make. Miss Peacock will not come tonight. Miss Peacock will not come tomorrow night. In fact, I don't think Miss Peacock will ever come again. Miss Peacock has been killed. She was stabbed in her study. No, she was shot. I did take some crime scene photos and they're in there somewhere. Y'all gonna have to find them. I'm sorry. But, but wait, I wait, wait, night. wait, wait, one good golly moment, detective. I was supposed to die here and I'm not going to be upstaged by some actress. Now, Mr. Peace, there will be no more murders tonight on my watch. But it's my death day party and I'll die if what to? Look, oh. uh, Mr. Warren, peace. Your stupid little game's gonna have to wait. Oh. This is now an official murder investigation. You got three minutes to ask as many questions as humanly possible. Begin. We have to find the name inside the dial of the oldest phone you can find. Let's go look for this phone. How do you feel go. about her death? Honestly, yeah. honestly, sure. so sad. So sad. Really? She was my mentor. She taught me everything I knew. She's laughing. She's laughing. But I'm very upset. But you are you actually upset? I'm 
am I speaking, sir? Sir, she's she's I'm speaking. Honest. Very busy <laughs> being a doctor and all. Hey, no, I'm are you a also sure you busy are. being in a relationship <laughs> with Mr. Mr. Hugh. Hugh Gigo? Yeah. Um, Wait, how long? Well, I'm, I'm not quite like sure what you mean by that. There's nothing wrong with being attracted to a successful man. Uh huh. A successful woman deserves nothing less. Write that down. John Hopkins. Do so you want to know why I'm disingenuous? Why? why? She was going to steal my part in the movie. Um, wait, she was. Well, she actually I'm stole my part in a movie before. Typical. Yeah. I'll say that. Mm. That Miss Peacock. That she, bitch. That, that bitch. She's sleeping with people for the parts. That's all I'll say. <gasps> Did you f Miss Peacock? Tell us about you and Miss Peacock. Did you no. kill her? Yes. No. Absolutely not. She was supposed to be my bloody film. Hmm, I don't know what to ask. I found a clue. Nice. Inside the phone. What the, the name is Mary Caton Ashley. That's uh That's Nico. Would you be jealous if you discovered anything going on between Talk to us about that phone Miss Peacock call. and Mr. Ego? Um no, I mean, I can't say I, I would. It is just a courtship after all, as far as I'm concerned. You don't have any grudges against the victim, Miss Peacock? Um, excuse me, what was that? You don't have any grudges? I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. What, uh, do you have any grudges mm. against Miss Peacock? Um, um, I think, um... Oh, he wants some money. Good I can't, mm. can't quite hear what you... Oh, what was that? <laughs> do you have any grudges against the victim? I do not. Next question. Oh, oh wait. Behind your reflection. Under a tray, ring the bell. What is this? So seven. In the order that they were told to us. Okay. A three. Okay, seven. So behind your, three, so seven, three. Seven. A seven, three, seven. 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 Nice. Check on the top shelf above the wrench. Be sure to share one of each six. Where's the wrench? It's uh, Dana? It's Donna. 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 The actress. Oh, were you planning on being in my film? I was supposed to be in the movie, but then that bitch stole the role. Ooh. But the bitch is dead. Yes. Oh. So. And I hope she's having a great time in hell. Oh, oh. my. Oh. Oh, there's more. Let's analyze them first before we go and give out information. So I wouldn't make any sense. Butterfly by Miss... Oh, she oh. wrote it. So the nerd didn't write it. So there's the subpar script. There's Miss Peacock reading the script. There she is, drinking, and a gun, and there she is dead. He was missing his peacock. His peacock. Oh my god. god. Peacock. So, 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 write that down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't want to say this loudly. She ghost wrote my book, and she is trying to, what was it, blackmail me oh. financially uh, to take credit for writing the book. Oh, Dr. Serendipity. Oh. Yes, hello. What a pleasure. It is it always is. a pleasure, isn't it? You might want to take this to a private place. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Sarah, do you mind, do you mind, uh, do you mind following me inside? Sure, sure. Oh, true. He's always found by American accent so charming. We don't think ooh la la is who she says she is, by the way. Oh. This is my twin, Professor Durple. <laughs> it is I, Professor Durple. Purple, Durple. Wurple. Wurple. I'm just Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Can't find anything. Well, I can help you right now. You For just a single dollar, I can give you crime scene photos. Well, hold my drink. You're a good man. <laughs> Who gave you this? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Did the doctor? Don't worry about it. Did the good doctor, <laughs> good doctor give you this drink? Did the good doctor give you this drink? I don't my... know why I have an accent Sir, give me my drink back, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Wait, I don't know if this has poison in it. Take this. I poisoned it because I knew you would steal it. What the? Uh, excuse me. Just give give him some money. This is a uh, me Do and Dara Do you guys need a, pre pre a prescription for like space? Like, can you like Come get on. out of here? Scram? You're gonna need some money to stick around. Doctor. We're just trying to figure out if you have any idea what happened to Miss Peacock. How did she die? Yeah, I mean, how would I know? I was at the same table as you guys. Oh. No? Uh, maybe that's a bad question. This is true, but I'm gonna pay you for some information. Drop it. Just throw it at me. Put it in my. <laughs> put it in my dress. <laughs> this chair, Yes. Do you think 
that I should spike Mr. Warren's drink? If I should be honest. Oh my goodness! Oh God! Oh, oh, oh God! Oh my God! Oh, oh my God! It's the blood! It's the blood! It's, it's the crime! Sir, that's not blood! <laughs> oh, good heavens! They shouldn't have given me this one. No, What's up, you never get love? Donna. Donna. Yes. Now that you that movie roll's open. Show me your talents. My talents? Your talents. Like my titties? No, talents. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he have a blue light? That's kind of. Oh, oh my god. I just got a dry clean. Right? No, that would be so. That would be the most. <laughs> there was just a stain. Well, please actually don't. What is that? Blood? Oh, you're not one of the butlers. Oh actually, you do not come near hey, me and my rich associates. Why is he again? Blue light? It's actually really scary. Shut up, man. Shut, Shut up. up. Why butler? is everyone. British you work for man. the person who works for the person who works work for me. For anybody, You're five man. levels down. Yes, oh, I'm surprised I see you two together, huh? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 what's oh. going on here? Looks like the cat's on the bag, Sarah. Oh, Can I interest you in some crime scene photos? Okay, fine. Only a dollar Wait, piece. I'm getting, I'm getting spread thin here. Yes, I will look at some, though. No, uh, no, it's what? for a price. Write this down. I got, I got, I got crime They're together. Oh, They're together? Uh, yes. Those two. Did you steal oh, these photos that are exploiting us? No, it was part of our plot. How can it you is. prove that they are yes. real? Uh, that's the lead actress right there, isn't it? Jesus. Wait, she was writing a letter. Do you have any more? I have all these to offer you for money. Are they all crime scenes? You haven't yeah. seen the bank. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? Mrs. Uh, Cherry Bomb. That's me, yes. Do you mind showing me your talents? <laughs> Stop asking our people's talents, you! Excuse me! Talents! Talents, not tits. I'm sorry, talents. talents. Look, look, look! The Lonely Butterfly by Chrissy, she changed it. She changed the script. Get a piece of money, please! Oh. Alright, alright, fine. It's gonna cost you, you can't just take it. Thank you! Oh, what the f matters? Why did we give him the money? Yo, it gotta be her. That's a... Why would she kill her? Because he's worth Two when she was, was an actress, you said? Yeah, she was actually involved with the loneliest butterfly. Okay. I believe she was supposed to be some role, and then we had to switch them around and stuff like that. Yes. Wait, so you took away the role from her? And that's correct. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. But it wasn't my fault, okay? Okay. You see, there was money behind it, a lot of money behind that decision. I'm not the money man, I'm just the producer, but money talks, you know. Huge. What's your relationship with you, Miss Peacock? Miss, Miss Peacock, well. Yes. Are you are you all together? Yes. Um, well, she was one of the main cast in my film. Mm. Uh, main cast. She was uh, ahead of Mrs. Uh, Donna, but she's no longer here, so I've had to uh, make some arrangements for the initial cast. It's interesting. Okay. How do you feel about Miss Peacock's version of your book? I didn't and write the book. And that people say it's better. Wait, 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 Different classes! I hire the writers. I'm sorry! Give me the money back! <laughs> you know what? I don't need your All right, great money. stuff. Oh, oh, don't give it back to goddamn I'm money. rich! We need it! Something going on with the payroll with Mr. Lee Ding. -Rong. Yeah, you're paying him a lot more? He's been on a couple of untitled projects, as it were. You know, there were no titles associated with it. I just have had him doing some odd jobs for me, and so I paid him a lump sum of money. That's. That's all, it's really not what that suspicious. What was the odd jobs? Oh, you know, I just wanted him to do a, um, how you say, a personal performance. What was that person? Non-sexual in nature, if that helps anything. Mm. She ghost wrote some of them. Everyone has a ghost writer. Everyone has a ghost Everybody. Writer. If someone doesn't have a ghost writer, they're boy, writing. Not my, not my boy, Drake. I'm fixing more in peace, a non-alcoholic drink. It's surprisingly drinkable <laughs> and not very carbonated. In fact, I've been told you can drink more in, than one in just a sitting. I keep asking for people's talents and they just think I'm asking for their tits. Mr. Peace took away our role from her. Uh-huh. So it wouldn't be like, because he doesn't like Mr. Peace, he'd kill her. At this point, I have no idea who did it. But we're getting to the bottom of it. I actually think that the cop did it. I don't really know, but it, you know, I'm just trying to think of the person that you would least suspect. Mary Kate Ashley, I don't think she did it because it's, it's usually the person you don't suspect and like they're doing like a little reverse psychology, you'd think it's like the nervous person. I don't think so. Come on. Hey, oh, Jonathan, thank you. Not uh, alcoholic. Perfect. 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I've just been handed a drink, which I do believe is a perfect reason to have a toast. So if you have a drink, or if you don't, you can mime one. Um, I'm reminded of a few words from my favorite writer, Mr. Oscar Wilde. He once said, a true friend will stab you in the back. Cheers. Cheers. One of your cups has been poisoned. That's right, anybody have a guess which one it was? It was mine. That's right, I am going to die. The game will continue. No, not only continue, the game will be afoot. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! No. Are you alright? No. Jesus! Oh my god! No. Oh my god! No. What the f? Hey, oh my god! god. No! We oh can't god. stay dumb! No. Oh my god! Give him out there now! Hold on, get here! Oh. Oh. Open up his shirt! Oh. I, I am a doctor! Did you go to Johns Hopkins? Uh, yeah, the dog, obviously. Oh no. I'm trying to take his wallet. He's a is he alive or is he dead? She's not who she says she is. <laughs> I'll wait until y'all save him. She's dead. I know that when a dead body dies, the scientific phenomenon of Riggy Morty starts to crack in. So it may look like he's getting up on his own accord, but I promise you he's definitely dead. So everybody. Recently down a teammate. Um, yeah. So yeah. I found this guy named James. Oh, James! Hey, guys. Yeah. He likes to join the party. How hard is it to kill one person? You killed two separate people tonight. Did somebody slip me a Mickey or something? Detective, you're in charge here. I need you to get your act together, oh. sir. Yes. Oh. oh my God! Oh. Mr. Greenspan was murdered tonight, yes. poisoned by his own drink, perhaps by the drink meant for you. Now oh. we need to talk to Jarvis because he's in charge of drink service. Yes. Where'd you go? Oh. Now, I know pretty much everybody here has access to those drinks, but yes. what do you know about poison? All I know is that she has some of the poison. Oh. Maydula, Maydula, come on. I'm gonna need to talk to you. Now, Maydula, do you got a purse or anything with you? Catch. Oh, thank you. All right, now let's open this. You said there's poison in here. <gasps> Maydula, did you put this poison in your purse? Today? Yes. No. Did any particular perpetrators put this poison in your purse? Well, if they put it in, I did not feel it. Now, who put this poison in your purse, Maydula? I don't know. Okay, my purse has been sitting there the whole night. We were out on the patio, and then there was a big crash in the kitchen. Wait. Now, tell me about that crash. Oh, it did a little bit like this. Crash! Oh. Boom! Go, 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 go. Okay, you know what? Just tell me what happened in the kitchen. I don't know. There's broken glass and liquid everywhere. Someone very clumsy was clearly in there. <sighs> Thank you, Maid Ula. You can have your purse back. If I'm gonna solve this crime, I'm gonna need help from everybody here. Now, I'm gonna need to talk to a few suspects that might have some very important clues for us. Serendipity, where you at, girl? That's Dr. Serendipity. Dr. Serendipity, you. I'm sorry. I did not mean okay. to minimize your hard you work. Will. Now, I understand you got a letter for us. Can you read that to the class? Of course, of course. I am afraid that we cannot fund your film, The Loneliest Butterfly. As a bank, we feel that casting a newcomer in the role of Lisa Ham is far too risky a venture. I'm sure that if you cast an actress with a more established appeal, we might be inclined to reconsider the financing. Perhaps Miss Peacock? Her dreamy eyes, the way she bites her lip when she's nervous, how she smells like peaches and cinnamon, I... I mean, she probably smells like that. <clears throat> cast her for me and I will make sure that you get the money, Mr. Greenspan. Now, who was that letter to? It's to uh, Mr. Peace. <gasps> okay, Hugh Gigo, where are you at? Right here. Hugh Gigo, now I understand you also have a letter for us. Can you read that for the class? Dear Mr. Greenspan, All right. you are a gerbil faced, nine headed garbage monger. Yet you have me over here a barrel, sir. I would never compromise my artistic integrity to pander your whims. Yet without the bank's money, I have no film. Fortunately, Miss Peacock would be adequate for the role. I do not think I am as familiar with her assets as you may be, but after some consideration, I will recast Miss Peacock in exchange for your guarantee. But let it be known that you have not made any friends this day. Cross me like this again, and it may become a fatal mistake. Formally, so why please? Wow. 
Okay, well, that was a lot of clues, a lot of information. I hope y'all got all of it. You might be thinking that that letter might be a little bit incriminating on my part, what with the threats and the deaths and whatnot, but, um, you know, actually, I have a theory of my own detective if you would uh, entertain my idea. All right. I'd like to do a crime scene reenactment, so what oh. I need are um, oh, two I, volunteers. I can volunteer someone. Don't Austin! That was me, Austin! You're going to be one of our volunteers. And um, I also need little Draco. <laughs> Thank you, Little Draco. Your name, sir? <coughs> Little Draco. Little Draco, excellent. <laughs> All right, now, Austin, mm. you will be playing right. our victim, oh. Miss Percy Peacock, okay? Okay. Now, you are going to be playing the person who I thought done it, Professor Phineas Purple. <laughs> Now, Professor, you weren't quite here yet. You were off somewhere else, and Miss Prissy Peacock was typing away at her typewriter. <laughs> and then Professor Purple kicked down the door. Not true. Right. He came in in a rage. He was absolutely raging, yes, screaming at Prissy Peacock. But Miss Prissy so Peacock mad. was giving it right back to him. How dare you come in here? What do you think you're doing? Just busting into my office? Like, what? <laughs> However, Professor Phineas Purple responded back that he knew everything that was going on. I know everything that's going on. Miss Prissy Peacock replied. Listen, I'm gonna stand up so you hear me loud and clear, Professor. I need you to know Turn towards that the camera. I... Turn towards the camera. He's worse than me at mouthing, by the way. Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. I need you to know that the world is gonna know and they're gonna know that I am the real author of The Loneliest Butterfly, not <gasps> you. No, it's me. And it's about high time that this world doesn't have men just taking credit for women's work. Nuh uh uh. It is gonna be mine, and the world is gonna know, and you are gonna be owned there. Now, Professor Purple was in quite a silent rage at this point, absolutely shaking with rage, shaking so violently it brought him to his knees, and he cursed to the heavens. And then he got over it and left the office in quite a demure manner. And that's what I think, yes, very demure slapping. And that's what I believe happened about the murder of Miss Prissy Peacock. He forgot about the murder. Oh, right. He walked back in, he shot Miss Prissy Peacock, she oh, fell no, over no, dead. No. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Slept over. The professor skipped out of the room thinking he did a good job. And that's how the murder of Miss Prissy Peacock happened, yes? Oh, yes. Yes. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a this second. complete I think lies. there are some holes in your story. Thank you. If the professor came and murdered Mrs. Peacock, why did he leave the incriminating script on the typewriter? According to you, his entire motive is based off the fact that he wanted to keep her name off of his script, The Loneliest Butterfly. Why would he leave it there? Okay, okay, so po probably Back. the theory wasn't as, as airtight as I thought it was, but that's not the volunteers' fault. I, I thought they did a very good job. Go ahead and take your seat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She got a fake accent. She got a fake accent. I'm telling y'all, just to remember. Me, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. It is about high time we move into our final investigation Stop. time. Hold on, huddle up, everybody. We think it's. We think it's Dr. Sandy. I agree. Right. Right. The reason is she's got a gun. And she's a She gave us that information from the great. She's a psycho. Guys, guys, guys. She's a psycho. Let me tell you something. We walked up to Donna, okay? And I found out what the f***ing doctor's name is. Okay? Serendipity. We walk up to Serendipity, and she gave us information for free. She's a psycho. I'm going to tell you that murder is about two things. It is about motive, and it's about opportunity. You see, a lot of the shady people in this room have one or the other, but only the true killer has both. Now I want to remind all of the suspects that even now the true killer has no idea they did it. You are going to have three minutes to interrogate each other, so I need everyone to stand to their feet for me. I want everyone to raise their right hand high in the air. And I want you to point at the shadiest person at this party. And on the count of three, I want you to interrogate them. One, two, three, investigate. It was Switch, right? So it has to be one of the people that he showed the yes. glass to. So I think so, Sherry, so, Blossom, Sherry so, Switch. Or Jarvis, one of those two. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be. I think you're a man who likes pageantry. 
and I think you're very much enjoying the evening. Mm, yes. I think you have, from the very beginning, known what's going on, and I think you're my main culprit. But you'd never tell me if you did it. Correct, I would. So, are you having a good time? I'm actually not. What do you know about this wine glass that was served good to question. Mr. Peace? That's why he's the smartest. Wine glass? You know anything about that? I know nothing about a wine glass. That's Oh, I gotta be honest with you, my eyes are either on the doctor or Jarvis. All right, I think there's a little bit of misdirection. I think Hunter, or Mr. Pierce, made Jarvis do it because he's so susceptible to direction. And he wanted to f Mr. Pierce up. He did like a double switcheroo because he wouldn't let him go to his mom's funeral. Do you have any pertinent information I might have? A little quid pro quo? Do you have any talents? I can dance. <laughs> I, I have an announcement. I know you've made mistakes, but I forgive you for sleeping with Miss Peacock. I object. No. She's a but she's that's a okay liar. Because I forgive you, and I want to marry you. Oh. Will you marry me, Hugh? What in the hell? He accepts! What? I did he not! I did not! I did not accept anything! I did not! I did not! I did not! I did not! Wait! Mr. Greenspan and Miss Peacock were not only in a relationship, but they were also in a big fight! I know this because my cousin was a cop and called to break up a loud argument between the two of them! Mr. Greenspan said he was going to kill Miss Peacock! <laughs> Why did I can't even understand her? <laughs> Sorry. What? Well, as long as it's not you. All right. F it. Still. Let's get married. What? Well, yeah, okay. Yes, I oh, am the right yeah. woman for you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes, of course. She won't leave me alone. Donna, bad thing. Where are you? She got a fake accent. I'm telling y'all. Where the f is everyone? You said that about everyone, mate. Yes, yeah, shut Just the her up, mate. She's not who she we think she is. She's been. Burned by Miss. Oh, there she is, Miss Donna. I have such a stomach ache. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Has been burned it's by all the Miss Hollywood drugs. <laughs> Peacock before. Uh, what happened? You've Where's been my... burned by Miss Peacock before. Donna was cast as a role, huh? And Prissy stole it from you. Oh, oh that uh, bitch. That will do it. Are we on the? Page? I have an announcement too. It's yeah. been eating a hole in my soul, <laughs> Mister. Mr. Greenspan, before his death, he asked me to point out which drink belonged to Mr. Warren Peace. Oh. <laughs> That's it. We need to know when she had the opportunity to kill. I don't know, understand. All these clues lead to the dead people. Do we talk to I think we gotta talk to the right. She was in the room. We got the notes. I think we ought to talk to the man. Mary Cannon? was stumbling around like a drunken polecat in Miss Peacock's house before she died. I knew it! Oh. You little susball. I believe the true killer must be Mary Kate and Ashley. Oh. When? No, no, that's not, that's not true. The moment we have finally been waiting for has happened. Mr. Warren Peace has died. Woo! It is glorious, it is amazing. It is exactly what we wanted to go down, right? Mr. Warren Peace is dead! Yeah. To Red of Love! Hooray! Oh, not so no. fast, detective! Wait a second! Oh. Rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. I have a confession to make. I am not the real Warren Peace. What? I'm actually Lee Dingroll. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's right. That's right. Thank you. That's right. Now, see, I was hired by the real Sir Warren Peace to fake his death in what he called the most immersive piece of theater ever to happen. But when people actually started dying, I realized my life was in peril and he was going to kill me next. Unluckily for him, I uncovered who it was, encountered him back there, and you're probably wondering who the real Warren Peace is yourselves. None other than Detective Peter Ness. I what the knew hell? it! Oh, I knew God. it! It's a shame you had to expose me. This could have been the performance of a lifetime for you, ending in your beautiful demise. This has all been a part of my elaborate trap, from the elaborate game to your fake pseudo-hyperbole, and it all would have ended perfectly with the world believing I was dead, thus clearing me of a sizable amount of tax debt I owe the IRS. Nature but the plan go. failed, We're because this stupid group doesn't have the competence to kill this man. Your buffoonery baffles me. Murder is simple. 
here. Let me show you. Oh! Oh! I've nearly strangled you to death backstage and all you did was scratch oh. my neck. Oh, no, 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 Sir Warren Peace. I injected you. Who with what? Arsenic. <gasps> I'll get you if it's the last thing I do. Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh my right. God! <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I know there's a lot to take in, but uh, I'm, I'm sorry, this is a little embarrassing for me, but I actually need to head out. I need to start rehearsal for my next movie. Freeze! Oh. Wait a second. FBI. Oh She's oh gone. No. She won. That's right. I told y'all, I told y'all. Oh Don't you dare walk out that door. <gasps> there's a lot of accents. Who in Hollywood was gonna believe my accent? <laughs> And my country of origin, son of a feach. I mean, only little Draco picked up on that. <laughs> and made ooh la la. Come on. No, my name is Agent Smith, Agent Schlangwanger Smith from Kickapoo, Kansas. Schlanger, Schlanger. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I, I admit it. I killed, I killed Mr. Warren Peace. Go ahead and cuff me. I rubbed him out. I, I sent him to hey, rubbed hey, him hey, out. Hey, Yo, hey, 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 However, the real Sir Warren Peace is officially dead. He is demised. And it's time that we figure out who actually committed two other murders here tonight. I was brought in to take down the real Sir Warren Peace for tax evasion. And then some other people on my watch started to drop dead. Believe it or not, you officially have all the information you need to solve this mystery. The true killer has no idea they did it. So don't write yourselves out. You have three minutes to fill out your final sensing sheet. Your final sensing time starts right now. I'm telling you, it was Jarvis. We have more information Jarvis, Jarvis, not only was he in love with Miss Peacock, but he was also in love with Mary Kate Ashley. And he found out that Mr. Pierce was also having, Mr. Pierce was having sex with Mary Kate Ashley, right? He found out about this, turned him into a fit of rage. So he killed everybody. I don't think it adds up, but you know, I got nothing, so we're gonna go with this. <laughs> Little uh, Jarvis was, Dealing alcohol. He did mention Mr. Warren Hugh. So it's either Cherry or or Jarvis. Or Jarvis. Because it was only us and Cherry Bomb that could have switched to the drink. <laughs> One of Cherry the... Bomb wanted Peacock the guy to take her role. Hey, I'm gonna be honest. I think it's this harlot. You know, she's real Baby. mad. She's real mad that she can't get her role. So she she thought she thought it'd be wise to kill somebody for it. Um. But I don't know. Uh -oh. But that's what the doctor concludes. Her and Philip and Chris were like dating or whatever their thing, about to get married, and he cheated on her with Peacock. That's more of a motive, I think, than ghostwriting. Wait, so and... that that's the do and she could write prescriptions for poison. The po the poison I think is the biggest clue. We think that the killer is cherry bomb. But I have something to confess. He didn't give him arsenic. I lifted the poison from La La's back, and I killed the detective. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> but it was a bullet. It wasn't. It wasn't poison. Maybe she was poisoned and then shot. If she never crossed paths with Peacock, it couldn't be her. Is there a possibility she gave Hugh the gun, or she gave Ray's character the gun, and they did it? Because Ray's character got her role stolen by Peacock. Um, How? That's, I don't, She's I don't. my friend. I think she flipped the drinks on the first one. She knew I was going to flip the drinks because I asked her about it. So she knew I was going to, she knew that one of the drinks was going to be poison and she flipped the first one. She knew the drink would be poison and she flipped yeah, them? Yeah, she flipped them and she shot Peacock, Jesus Christ. She shot him in the, she shot her in the fucking chest. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought, how'd the cop become the guy that was doing the acting? I'm confused. I'm going to pass out and shut the up. We're trying to find out a murder. Yeah, but didn't they just they, The guy just f***ing died in front of us and he admitted it. Self-defense, bull The why is she was the only one who stood the game yes. for both murders. She yes. got the lead role and the person who was blocking her yes. no longer exists. There you go. Hey, if we're wrong, it's the best guess, I think. It's either Cherry Bomb or Tina. <sighs> Who's Tina? What's her name? Dr. Serendipity. I think it might be. Yeah, I think, yeah, let's go with Dr. Yeah. Serendipity. It could be Mary Kate and Ashley. How can you be two people at once? Bro, I think it's Hugh. 
I think she gave him the gun, so he has to prove that he's loyal to her. So he, he shot her, and then Hugh and my character had beef because my character was sleeping with her. So my character and his character already hated each Done. other. Done. That's it. It's fine. Why would she kill Dr. Greenpeace? I think we got it. Wait, Greenpeace? Because they both died. Huh. God, I don't know. All right. Everybody take a look at this team. They're the last ones. Oh. <laughs> Who did you guys play? Jeremy. Why? Yeah. Uh, she was the only one who stood to gain from both murders. She got the lead role and the person who would block her from having the lead role. You're wrong. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you want to know who the killer is? Yes! Well, that's not going to happen right now oh. because I've got some awards to give out. You see, right, we have the right. best job in the world. We get to have fun, we get to dress up, we get to meet so many fun people, so many good people, and uh, you guys really make our jobs worth doing. So a round of applause for all of you guys for doing one hell of a job. Thank you. Uh, now, you probably didn't know this, but during the night, you were being judged. Oh, <laughs> I hate being judged. <laughs> and uh, we had a couple of people that really stood out to us, and we want to give them some recognition. So in my hand, I'm holding the uh, Best Actress Award. Ooh. This is somebody who got into character, commanded the room, really personified her character, really got all the reactions that she could have gotten. This is going to Ray as Donna Bathing! Really? Yeah! Getting everyone to cat call and holler at you. Good job, Miss Bathing. Good job. Uh, and in my hand, I also have a best actor. This is going to a man who, from the beginning, had a voice, had everything going, really just hopped right into service. I really felt like through the night he was my actual butler. This is going to Will as Jarvis Eden! Hey! Hey! The Oscar! The Oscar! You like me! You really and like me! And now, ladies and gentlemen, I give you your FBI agent who will wrap up this mystery. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are we ready to figure out who killed somebody? Yeah! Team name. I don't want us to be poor sports. I want us to hoot and holler for these people. So where is the team that calls themselves Hugh Dub? Huge what Dub. The Hugh Dub. I'm huge so dub. sorry. Please give them huge a big dub. round of applause yeah. for Huge Dub. Yes, this team played the game right. They ran around during investigation time. They made very unethical bribes. I saw you too. And then they I wrote that talent. the true killer was MKA, <gasps> Mary Kate and Ashley. Wow. How? Holy Jesus told us in a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Too innocent. I'm just saying. Now here's the deal. Here's the deal. Jack, Jack, Jack. Don't worry, Jack. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news for you guys. Bad news is that you took all that information you had and you kind of did one of these. Oh. oh. Up. There are two teams that did get it correct, but only one team that got it dead on the nose. Can I get a drum roll, please, for your detective of the night? Your detective of the night goes to Death and Taxes! Let's go! Here you are, here you are. Here you are. So the true killer was one, two, three, Terry Bomb! That's right, Terry Bomb. You were under arrest, girl. Get off the Bro, but how? I'm gonna go and break this down for all of you. Okay, okay. Cherry Bomb moved from a small town of Ohio to become a star. She wanted to be a celebrity in Hollywood and she made friends with the right people. Miss Prissy Peacock, in fact. Someone who went, ran lines with her, made friends with her. However, Prissy Peacock did one thing and that was underestimate this starlet. Because when the Lonely's Butterfly did its casting, they did not take Miss Prissy Peacock this time, no. They took Miss Cherry Bomb and did a bad thing as the leads leaving Prissy Peacock out to stray. Now here's the deal. Prissy Peacock was mad. She went and first slept with huge ego, tried to convince him to change the casting in The Loneliest Butterfly, but he stuck to his decision. When that didn't work, she went and slept with Mr. Greenspan. Now, Mr. Greenspan changed his mind. He said, I'll pull the funding from the film if you cast Prissy Peacock in the lead for The Loneliest Butterfly over Cherry Bomb. 
Now what happened? Cherry Bomb not only needed to kill off Prissy Peacock to make sure she still had her breakthrough role here in Hollywood, no, she also needed to kill off the guy financing the film that was holding the financing to make sure that she still got to be the lead in the film before that letter became present. Now, how did she do it? If you take a look at those crime scene photos, you'll notice a few things. First, that Prissy Peacock is slumped back in her chair. She's relaxed. She had no idea that the person sitting across from her was probably plotting her murder. No signs of distress whatsoever. In fact, if you look across the table, there is a wine glass facing the other direction where there is lipstick on the wine glass, meaning the murderer was sitting across from her. Now. It can lead us to believe that since it is 1937 that it is a female killer, but let's just be sure. Now, Jarvis was paid a large sum of money by Mr. Greenspan to point out a glass that was to be poisoned. And I wear lipstick sometime as well. Yes, you do, Jarvis. Yes, you do, honey. <laughs> now, Jarvis was paid that large sum of money. If you asked the right questions to Jarvis, he would have told you that he only confided in two friends about that, Professor Purple and Cherry Bomb. So Professor Purple, Cherry Bomb, and Greenspan are the only three people in here that actually know there's poison in a drink. All Cherry had to do was wait for them to turn their backs and switch those glasses. The only person in this entire room with the motive and opportunity to kill both people. Please give it up for your true killer, Miss Cherry Bomb! Yeah. Yeah. Keep that going for your best actor and your best actress this evening. We give it up for the team that had no idea what was going on. Jab over there, and yeah. please give a very big round of applause to your detectives of the night, Dead and Taxes. Ladies and gentlemen, we just have one last thing to say. We are the Murder Mystery Company. Thank you so much. Have a great night. We got Rob. We got Rob. Yo, you guys want to know something really funny? I'm not going near the pool. No, I'm not going to put you in the pool. We hosted a murder mystery night at our house over Halloween, yeah. and we played this exact game. We hired, we, had, we hired this exact company. Who was the murderer? Um, I can't remember, thankfully, but... Yo, we're going to be OP at this.